All right, welcome to day two of the We Play Virtual Soccer Camp. My name is Coach Paul. I'm going to be joined today again by Will Dieters and Jonathan Irvin. Today we're going to be building off some of the fundamentals that we worked on yesterday, and we're going to be uh, working more in, in motion and making them a little bit more dynamic, and we're going to be working on dribbling so that we can uh, go into tomorrow to work on a little bit more one v one how to be an opponent. So let's get started. All right, so for today's warm up, we're going to be doing some similar things that we did last warm up, but we're going to be having some dynamic movements involved as well. So just to get started, we're going to do those bell taps that we've done before. So go ahead, Will. We're going to do about 20 of those and then take a little break and go ahead and do those stretches that we talked about yesterday as well in between when you're resting here. After the bell taps, we're going to go and do bell rolls. So what Will's going to do is a tap, tap, and then a roll. A tap, tap, and a roll. And that roll is across your body. Tap, tap, and a roll. Okay, and again, we're gonna do, do about 20 of these and then take a little uh, 15, 20 second break. All right, now to add some dynamic movement, we're gonna ask Will to do about 10, 10 toe taps in the middle. And then what he's gonna do, he's gonna do a lateral shuffle to his left, high knees over those cones, back in the center, do 10 uh, toe taps, or be toe bell taps again, and lateral movement to his right. All right, go ahead, Will. A nice lateral shuffle. We don't want to cross our feet. Toe taps there, and then across. And then return to center. Good, Will. So go ahead and do that twice with about a 30 second rest in between. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bell rolls and we're gonna add sprints as well. So we'll do, I'm not gonna make Will do them all, but we're gonna do bell rolls in the center and just show them those real quick so they remember. Tap, tap, roll, tap, tap, roll. He'll do the shuffles like he did before, but then after he returns to the center, he's gonna go ahead and do 10 more, and then he's gonna do a sprint up to this uh, front cone, to the back cone, and then back to center. Good, he's gonna do the rolls again. Good, and rolls again, and he's just demoing. Just remember to do about 10. He's gonna do a little less. Finish with your sprints. Awesome, and he's done there. Uh, go ahead and do that twice again, but give yourself a 30 second, even to a minute break in between on these ones. And as you break, um, do some stretching like the ones that we showed you yesterday. All right, so for this next warm up, we are going to be incorporating some dribbling, and we're going to be doing three different types of dribble. Um, this first one, we're just going to use one foot at a time, using the inside and the outside of our foot. What you're going to do is you're going to start at one cone, one of the tall cones, and you're going to go all the way across and back. Okay, so go ahead and show us that, Will. And as we do this, we want to be light on our knees, or light on our toes, soft knees, knees bent, nice, small, tight touches. He's going to switch feet when he, as he comes back. Again, go ahead and do this twice on each dribble and do some um, active stretching in between as a rest. All right, so the other dribble that we want you to do is just inside outside cuts that we've done before. So go ahead, Will. So we're going to do the inside of one foot, outside of the other foot. Inside of one foot, outside of the other foot. And again, do this from one cone all the way to the other cone and back. All right, so for this final dribble, we're just going to do a touch and a wave over. This is just practicing a move to get an opponent off balance. So go ahead, Will, we're going to touch the outside of the foot, and we're going to wave over. Touch the outside, wave over. Good, we want to keep that ball nice and close to us, but we want a decent enough touch so we can get a step off. All right, so there's your warm-up for day two. Don't forget that in between the dribbles uh, and the touches that you're taking some active rests and you're doing some active stretching, like the stretches that we did yesterday. And then uh, next we'll move on to some technical work. All right, so for your personal technical drill, we're gonna be practicing some dribbling. Um, we're gonna set, I'm gonna show you kind of how to set up the cones here. We're gonna uh, just have like a line of cones, and you want them about a step apart. So you're just gonna take a step and put here, step and put here. And again, if you don't have cones at home, which a lot of people I understand don't, um, you can also just use like shoes, or you can use water bottles, 
or really anything that's just going to be marking space for you. All right, so for this technical drill, as we dribble, we have set up these cones like I already showed you, but then we also have this cone at the end because what we're going to be doing is after you make it through these cones, we're going to ask you to take a big touch and have a little sprint to this cone. Um, after you reach there, you can go ahead and have a slow jog back, um, recover for about uh, 10 seconds to 30 seconds as needed. Um, and you're going to do each one of these dribbles twice. So Will's going to go ahead and run through the first one for us. Uh, just to show us, we're going to just be working with one foot at a time only. Okay, so go ahead, Will. So again, lie on our feet. He's got those soft knees, and we're going to have a nice big touch to accelerate to that last cone. Again, you can go back as slow as you want. Will's a uh, speed demon, so he's going to go back quick. Now he's going to work his other foot and do the same thing. Remember, each one of these drills that we're gonna show you, we want you to finish with a nice accelerated sprint at the end. All right, so to demo the other drills that we're gonna be doing, Will is gonna be working with the outside of his foot on this one and the outside of his foot only. So go ahead, Will. You're gonna be doing each one of these dribbles through the cones twice, and don't forget that sprint at the end, even though Will's not showing you that here now. So this next one we're going to be doing is just inside outside. So inside of one foot, outside of the other foot. Nice close touches through the cones. Good. Remember to be light on our toes. We got soft bent knees. Good will. So for this next one we're just going to be doing a roll stop. So Will's going to roll that ball across his body and stop it on the, on the other side of the cones. And it's a roll and a stop. A roll and stop. Good, Will. All right, so this next one, Will's going to be practicing his V-turn. So go ahead and do that one for us, Will. So it's a pull across your body towards you, and then opening up your hips and pushing into space there. Good, Will. Okay, and so for this last one, Will's gonna be practicing his L turn through the cones. So he's gonna be pulling that, dragging that ball back and tucking it behind his standing leg and through the cones into space. Good, remember be light on your toes with soft knees. We wanna be bent knees. So yesterday we showed you a technical drill to work with a partner. Today we're gonna to be showing you a technical drill to work with a wall. Uh, we're gonna be working on some similar things, mostly some passing. So just to get kind of acquainted with the bounce of the wall, the bounce of the wall, we're just going to start with two touch passes against the wall. Make sure as we pass, we want to be over the ball. We want to be using the inside of our foot, with our heel down, and our toe up, our ankle off. Will's going to be stepping right next to the ball as he's passing his ball. It's going to help him keep control of it. His plant foot is going to be directed right where he wants the ball to go. So after about 30 seconds to a minute of that, we'll just do a one touch off the ball now. Good, again, we're going to be working the inside of the foot, we're going to be working with both feet, and all these exercises we're going to do from about 30 seconds to a minute with about 10 seconds to 30 seconds rest, okay? Alright, so now that we've kind of gotten used to the bounce of the wall and the bounce of the ball, Will's going to start manipulating the ball um, pass across these cones, so he'll go ahead and give a bounce pass here, straight back to him. He's going to use the inside of his foot to go across those cones and bounce pass. Back and forth, use the inside of his foot for about a minute and then we're going to use the outside of our foot to manipulate that ball across the cones as well. You've got to notice that Will is light on his feet, he's up on his toes, his heels are off the ground, his knees are slightly bent, those are all very important things um, for good soccer technique. Similar to what we're doing before, we're also just going to start at the back of the triangle on one side. He's going to give a pass off the ball and back to himself. He's going to take a touch across the triangle and try to break over to the other side. And now he's going to do the same thing. And so we're looking for a little bit bigger of a touch as if we're again touching away from an opponent and setting ourselves up for a good pass on the other side. 
the other side. Okay, so after we've done this for a little bit, we can pick up the speed depending on our ability. Now we're going to focus on doing the same thing, but we're going to be checking our shoulder every time that ball is coming towards both. So as that ball comes back, just kind of look over our shoulder, make sure that there's no opponents coming this way. Just going to check his shoulder. Touch across. Just going to check his shoulder and touch across. All right, awesome. Now, Will, we're going to pause here. Now, this time we're going to do something very similar, but as we touch across, we're going to act like we had a defender uh, break us down here. We're going to pull it back and go back the other way. Okay, so we'll go ahead and show us what that looks like. So now instead of going all the way across, he's just going to touch it back and work the other side. And pull back. Good. Alright, as you're working on this, just keep in mind that your first touch is something that's really important to uh, coaches and players. Uh, that first touch should be able to allow you to get away from a defender or set you up for your next move. We don't necessarily want to kill the ball with that on our feet because then we have to take another touch to be able to run with the ball or make a good pass. Uh, so just focus on having a good first touch that's going to be far enough away from you so that you can take a step and get your next action in, but not so far that you have to take multiple steps and get after it. All right, well, so let's keep going on this one. And this is a really good opportunity to practice that V, that V turn and that L turn that we did yesterday. Good, V turn. All right, you guys gonna be set on the next side. Good, there's a great pull and tucker. Today we're going to be working on some agility, uh, some quick footwork followed by a sprint. So we have these three cones set up uh, about a step apart. We're going to ask Jonathan to do a series of footwork drills through them and then finish with a sprint up to this cone. He can recover as slow as he wants back, take a little break, and then he's going to do each one of these twice. And we'll show you the different footwork drills we're going to do. This first one, Jonathan's just going to do some high knees over those cones. So go ahead, Jonathan. Good, and it's a nice sprint. Uh, lean into that sprint about 10, maybe 15 yards away, depending on your ability. And the next one we're going to do is just a quick shuffle. Um, our hips are always going to be forward. Uh, Jonathan's just going to shuffle his feet in between each cone and then finish with that sprint. Good, he has that shuffle back and forth and finish with that sprint. Awesome. All right, so now what we've done is we've changed the configuration of the cones here, and we've also added an extra uh, cone at an angle here for Jonathan to have a cut with his sprint as well. Um, so this first one, we're just gonna ask Jonathan to go make a big triangle around these cones. So go ahead, Jonathan. Quick feet, hips are always, always facing forward. We're gonna go to that first cone. And we're gonna plant and cut. All right, for this next one, we're gonna ask Jonathan to actually shuffle around each cone. Uh, again, we're gonna have our hips facing forward. He's gonna have that uh, first cone to cut around. So go ahead, Jonathan. So around each cone, quick feet, quick feet. That's the key here. Good, make sure as we go to that first cone, we have a nice plant with the outside of our foot and we cut across to the next cone. All right, so for our last configuration here, we have the cones aligned vertically, and we're also going to ask Jonathan to have some, to do some quick chops with his feet before he starts, so about three to five seconds. Uh, this first one, he's just going to do kind of a slalom through the cones. He's going to hit that first one, cut, and hit that last one. All right, go ahead, Jonathan. Good. Remember, quick feet and good acceleration. We have our knees bent. We're leaning forward. All right, so for this last one, we're gonna do bunny hops over the cones, and again, I'm gonna ask you to do chops for about three to five seconds. Uh, it's the same sprint afterwards. Go ahead, Jonathan. The chops, feet together, bunny hops, good, and a sprint. Awesome, remember, each one of these ones, you're gonna aim to do them at least twice, but make sure you get a good rest in between. We don't want you too tired as you're doing these.
All right, so for our last workout today, we're going to be focused on injury prevention again. What we're going to do is a core workout. Core is extremely important in soccer. Um, often what happens is if you have too weak of core, it can actually cause issues with other muscles in your hip or in the back of your leg. Um, so we're just going to be doing some core here. Uh, everything's going to be on our back. We're just going to be doing some leg lifts to start. So flat on our backs. We can have our, hip, or our hands underneath our hips here. Legs nice and straight off the floor. We're going to do up. Down. Heels are never going to be touching down. You're going to do about 20 to 30 reps if you can on these and with about 30 second break. Okay, so we're doing leg lifts. We'll also, Jonathan, we're going to keep our feet about 12 inches off the floor. We're going to um, separate our legs and we're going to do over unders. So out and in, out and in, out and in. 20, 20 to 30 of those, and then we'll also do some flutter kicks. 20 to 30 of those. Okay. It also helps to keep your head off the, off the floor, looking at your toes, like I have here. The last one we're going to do are called dead bugs. We're actually going to bring our arms up above our head like this, shoulders slightly off the, off the ground. We're going to have one uh, leg bent, one leg straight, and we're just going to hold right here. Again, do about 20 30 of these, or as a right And then, uh, as always, when you're done with the workout, go ahead and spend some time stretching um, all the major muscle groups that you've worked out that day. Uh, just like the show you yesterday.